I also love J Train more so the situation. I'm, yes, I like J Train as a talent. He can be a steamroller at times, but it's his situation. They removed LeGarrette Blunt, the only competition he really had for that early down back roll. Uh, Deuce Staley, the running back coach, has come out and said, We're ready to feed J Train. He's, he's been in the year, you know, the system for a year. He's got it down. Uh, we're ready to unleash him, and I know he's ready to be unleashed. He's still going to lose the passing down work to Clement and, and Sproles. I get that, but you're still looking at 250 or so touches in the most explosive offense in the league last year outside of the Rams. So love the value that you can get on J train. I think everything that you thought you were going to get last year, uh, you're going to start getting this year. So I think a ton of touchdown upside there for him. I don't love Jay Ayaji as much as you do, but I will say that I think he's undervalued. And so if you could snag him end of the fourth, beginning of the fifth, something like that, I don't think that's crazy um, for a guy that's, you know, potentially the number one back on a great offense. 